Hi guys, Dane and Biggie Cat here, and uh, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So I've just finished reading The Life and Times of the Thunderbolt Kid by Bill Bryson. Next up, I'm going to crack on with my Haruki Murakami. Uh, I'm reading The Wind Up Bird Chronicle as a buddy read with Charlie, Charlie Heathcote. And then next, I'm going to read The Primrose Path by Bram Stoker. But first, I'm going to go and do a little bit of recording this evening. Again, it's my new thing, 7 to 9 p.m. I make music. All right, so that's that little bit of filming finished. I did manage to record a new song called um, Blood Red Moon. <sighs> I've got like something going on behind my ear. I don't know whether it's a spot or whether it's just my head hurts. But it's kind of annoying. I could do with some tiger balm. But yeah, I just wanted to update you and let you know I've finished, read, uh, finished recording that song and that's it. And now I'm gonna do some more recording and stuff. Ow, my head. <laughs> Just watching a bit of uh, the Street Fighter movie from 1994, as you do. Probably be. Hello, that was loud, I don't know why I did that. Um, it is, what is it, it's Tuesday the 12th of May. My radio show goes on air in about 25 minutes. Uh, it's all pre-recorded, so that's sorted. I've already started recording the next one. Pretty much up to date with my videos. I've been doing a lot of stuff for my Dane Plays YouTube. Um, so there's going to be a video a day of some music for the foreseeable future. Um, I probably make more an average of more than one video a day anyway, especially once the open mics come back, I can start doing more live stuff as well. And um, in a little bit, I'm going to go and play guitar, and I'm kind of filming my back catalogue of all the songs I used to do. Um, so yeah, that's my plan for this evening. I'm just going to have a little bit of a play and record a few songs, so that'd be good. Uh, I've finished reading, um, what's it, that what was I reading? The Thunderbolt Kid, the Bill Bryson book. I gave that a 4 out of 5. Uh, I also read Fée d'Hiver by Anouk Ricard. So she's a French author. This is a French band de dessinaire, a graphic novel basically. She took a load of um, newspaper headlines and then basically illustrated them. Let me try and read you one. Okay, that's one I actually have no idea what it's about. What I will say is in this book, as opposed to the first one, um, the first one was much more like just one or two frames, whereas um, this is a great example of the kind of stuff we had more of in the first one, whereas the second one, there's a lot more like longer, longer bonds. But, um, Une fille distribue des somnifères à la place de bonbons et ses camarades d'école. So that means a little girl gave out uh, sleeping pills in, instead of uh, sweets to uh, schoolmates. And then there's our illustration. So yeah, these are all based on newspaper headlines. So yeah, uh, I read that in bed last night, so that was fun, um, got through that. And um, now I am currently reading The Primrose Path by Bram Stoker. It's also got buried treasures in here. I would call them like a novella and a short story between them. The Primrose Path is his first novel. It was actually serialized initially in a newspaper. So I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, I did enjoy it. There was some um, cool stuff in here. Well, I'm not I'm not quite near the end, but I'm, I'm about like 10 pages off the end or something. Um, there's a lot of weird stuff in terms of like, talks about religion and like abstinence and stuff like that, which I don't think Stoker himself would really that sold on. <laughs> But um, yeah, I enjoy reading Stoker, and so yeah, so far this has been pretty good. And then I've received word from Charlie that he's finished, he accidentally forged ahead and finished reading the Wind Up Bird Chronicles. I only have about 200 pages to go, so I think I'm gonna read this, read the rest of this next. And then I'm gonna move on to this that arrived in the post today, which is The Pale Horse by Agatha Christie. So all very exciting. Um, I did say I was gonna make some music later, but I've just realized maybe I can't because I'm already on low battery even though I thought my battery was charging. I don't know, we'll see. I, I try not to make any music past 9 p.m. Alternatively, I suppose I could do some recording, so maybe I'll look at that, we'll see. That was House in Micklefield Woods by Occasionally David. You're listening to The Art Show on 106.6 FM Wickham Sound. My name's Dan Cobain, and I am here in conversation with one half of Occasionally David, Clive Whitelock. You are right. You're just getting a little bit of sun. A little tiny bit of sun in. You enjoy me. Do you mind if I come down here and we have a little cuddle? So. What day is it? It's Thursday, the 14th of May. Um, oh, Boogie's a tired boy. I've got some sweets down here, as you can see, so I've been eating those. I made a really nice curry as well. Um, I made it at like 2 a.m. with, um, I got some store-bought mango chutney and some poppadoms. But then I made the, it was like a tofu tikka masala from scratch. 
So I made the tikka masala sauce from scratch. And um, what else was there? Oh, and then some rice with it. And then I made a uh, homemade onion salad. It was very good, wasn't it, Biggie? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've just been chilling and being productive, really. Got a few books to update you on. I've been doing some more music and stuff as well. Got a bit carried away. I've ordered two more pedals for my guitar. I've ordered um, a tuning pedal and also a reverb pedal. But both of those combined cost less than my distortion pedal. So... And it's an investment, that's the way I see it, because I'll be using them. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm going to make myself a little guitar board um, from a bookshelf, from one of the bookcases, because I've been downsizing. So I'm going to get one of the shelves and try and gouge some holes in it, basically, for me to, like, slot my pedals into, so that then, when I'm performing or whatever, they won't move around, you know? Mm -hmm. I did actually look at buying one. But I was like, I could just make one, it'd be cheaper and be cooler, it'd go well with my homemade guitar and shit. Um, and I've got some spray paint left as well, I don't have any of the yellow, but I do have some black, I think. So I can spray paint it black. Are you trying to bunny kick me, Biggie? What are you doing? So, um, yeah, so I did a bit of music. Uh, I watched Jason and the Argonauts. I've also, oh, I'm watching Trial by Media at the moment, it's very good. It's about, like, high-profile criminal cases, basically. Isn't it big? He's enjoying it too. Oh, he's very loving today. You normally bite me if I try and do this. I bet if I go for your belly, he'll try and bite me. He's not biting, he's just... Okay, now you're biting. I'm sorry. Uh, at the start of this clip, I was just finishing off... Or I've been doing a bit more of the latest episode of The Art Show for Wickham Sound. Because um, I recorded it in dribs and drabs. And so I've been listening through and I realised there was no lead into this next song, you see. So I have actually finished the next 20 minutes of the show after that part what are you doing ah okay so what have i been reading well i finished reading the primrose path by bram stoker i give that like a pretty solid 3.75 out of 5 it's also got buried treasures in it so it's basically a, a novella and a short story uh they're both pretty good and i'm a stoker fan so um yeah it was good to get to those and i also read Yurtle the Turtle and Other Stories by Dr. Seuss. Uh, basically, Seuss is one of the authors who I want to get through all of his um, all of his publications at some point or another. And I've been in this thing where I get my friends to pick out random numbers for me that coincide uh, with books that are on my wish list. So somebody picked that out, so I went ahead and got it. And yeah, nice quick read. Uh, pretty enjoyable. Again, another 3.75 out of 5. I actually never really read Dr. Seuss as a kid. So it's kind of interesting reading him just as an adult and looking at, I guess, his effect, his influence on society and how he created a lot of the stuff that we take for granted today. Like, it's fun to compare that to, say, something like the Gruffalo or something. Um, then after that, I finished reading The Wind-Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. Big old book, couldn't get it in frame. Uh, I read this as a buddy read with Charlie from Charlie Heathcote. He, uh, we were doing three chapters a day and then he messaged me to be like, oh yeah, by the way, I finished it. So, um, so yeah, I just finished it off as well. Uh, I do think I enjoyed the start of it and the, probably like the first third in particular was my favourite part. And then it kind of levelled out. Did lose a little bit of steam towards the end, but um, I quite like the fact that this is actually a, a reading guide edition. So there were some questions at the end and I was like looking at these questions and some of the bits that I've tabbed out could be used as like quotes to answer those questions in an essay or something so that was kind of cool uh full review coming soon overall i did really enjoy it. i gave it a 4.5 out of 5 probably my best book of the month so far murakami just does a great job of world building even when he's building a world like this one which is just our world you know there is in fact i wouldn't even say there's any any magic at all in it really i mean i guess there's a few little bits here and there but um mostly it's just um quite a harrowing look at our world I would say and the relationships we have between different people so now with that finished I'm just finishing off Silas Marner by George Eliot this has been my bedtime book I've mentioned it quite a lot this is old edition here um, I have like 60 pages to go or something so I, I figured I'm gonna bring it through and upgrade it to my main book now that I've finished Murakami because once I tick that off I only have 35 books remaining 
and I've, I'm not due to buy any more books now until I think July the 1st. Is it July the 1st? No, I think it might be even later than that. Oh no, it is July the 1st, but I'm only due to get one book. Um, and then it will be six books on August the 1st. Yeah. I might go for a little walk later to the post box as well, we'll see. Uh, I haven't been meaning to, but I, I do appreciate it. I, I might as well show off this one other remaining tattoo that hasn't kind of been in the, <laughs> in the, in the frame. Uh, yeah, I want, a, I want a new tattoo as well. I'm looking forward to tattoo parlours reopening. Yeah. Might be a while on that one. Alright, it is still Thursday. I went to bed about 10 and woke up about 5. It's now 5 to 7. I'm probably not going to do any music tonight. I'm going to have a day off. Oh, stretch. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, been learning some moves from the cat. Oh, that was a good stretch. He knows how to stretch, that kitty. Um, yeah, I slept through most of the day, so just woken up and just being productive and uh, reading and stuff. Just finished. I still haven't finished Silas Marner, but I'm almost there. So that's good. And I'm watching Trial by Media on Netflix. It's very interesting. The first case was about a guy. Basically, this guy went on this like Oprah Winfrey style show to um, find out who his secret crush was. And it turned out to be another guy. And four days later, he shot the guy dead with a shotgun. Uh, but yeah, the theme here is like it's true crime stuff about all these trials that have been massively influenced by the media presence, you know. Um, which I find quite interesting in general. I like true crime, but I also like stuff that investigates the influence of the media because it can be kind of insidious. And I should know because I kind of work within the media, you know. So yeah, I'm going to finish that off tonight. And then there's something called, I think it's called like Have a Nice Trip or something. And it's a bunch of celebrities talking about when they took LSD and magic mushrooms and recounting their trip stories from what I understand. So that'd be good. What else? I'm going to make some more onion salad in a bit because it was so good. In fact, let's do it. Let's do a little video. I'm going to film a little video. I'm going to film a little video for my Dane's Vegan Journey channel, which I haven't done for a while. So, um, yeah, I'll link below to that YouTube. Let's link to all my stuff because there's also the Ilk on YouTube and um, Dane Sings on YouTube if you want some music. So that is where we're at. My nan's doing a little bit better, so that's good time in it. My mum wants to know if I've got any birthday ideas. I've got a few. So I'm, I'm thinking I might ask, I either want, may, well I might ask for Abbey Road on vinyl because I think for last birthday and last Christmas she got me um, Sgt Pepper on vinyl and uh, Exodus by Bob Marley. So um, yeah I might ask for Abbey Road. Just to bulk up. My vinyl collection's actually getting pretty dope now. Because, um, yeah, my f my friend is theoretically sending me one of his band's vinyls. Because I made a dope... Basically, he was doing like a live live stream fundraiser thing. And he said if you donated to um, Mind, which is a mental health charity, then he'd give give you one of his vinyls. So I, I chucked a tenner their way. I also donated a tenner to Wickham Sounds fundraiser today. Because they're sort of struggling a little bit with advertising and whatnot. Um... But yeah, so I've got my friend's vinyl coming, and then I also ordered a vinyl of uh, an album called Dreamies by Bill Holt, which is one of my favourite albums ever. It's mental. It's one of the earliest known examples of sampling, and it's designed in a way so that it's basically one song on each side of the vinyl. It's Program 10 and Program 11. They get their title and Dreamies from an Isaac Asimov short story um, where people are paid to have industrial dreams that they then sell to people commercially. So that's cool, and it's number nine. And, uh, it's number ten and number eleven because uh, the Beatles did Revolution number nine, and it's kind of inspired by that. Well, that makes it look darker than it is. Hello, it's Friday. It's Friday evening. I went to bed about three a.m. Got up about one p.m. Um, done some work. I've now finished work for the day, so I'm about to go and play guitar because. Ooh, I got this. I got this bad boy in the post today. So this is a vintage delay pedal. So I can now use both distortion and delay on my guitar. I can also plug this into the microphone if I want to and give my voice uh, reverb. But I can only use one or the other at the moment. But that's fine because I'd want to get separate. If I was going to do that and use reverb on my voice on stage, as opposed to just getting the sound guy, whoever it is, to add reverb, I'd just get another reverb pedal and I'd have a separate one for my voice and for my guitar. Um, so yeah, 
Anyway, so I'm going to play with this in a little bit and maybe do some recording. Uh, so I've been doing some more collaborations with my friend Dave for the Ilk. So I sent him Tomorrow Never, Tomorrow Never Knows yesterday. And later on, I want to do um, Cigarettes and Cola by Jet. Because um, it's a nice little acoustic song, but easy chords. What was the other one I was going to do? Let me have a look. Oh, and I want to do um, My Baby Shot Me Down by Nancy Sinatra using this bad boy. But that'll probably just be for me. Uh, and then I've got some songs like, I don't know, I've got this song that Dave sent me called Burly Chassis. And I haven't even listened to it, but I might record for that later. We'll see. So that's it. That was, I went for a walk earlier to the post office and dropped all that off. Oh yeah, I've, I made some more onion salad yesterday and did a, a video for Dane's vegan journey on YouTube. So check that out. Um, first video in like six months plus there. Um, and then I'm currently still reading The Pale Horse by Agatha Christie. I'm on page 164 of, I don't know, 266 maybe. So slightly over halfway, probably finished that this evening. I started reading Hard Times by Charles Dickens last night. It's my new bedtime read. And I am quite enjoying it so far. So next up, I have the, the next Witcher book over there. Can't even remember what it's called. Um, but I'll probably pick that up as my next main book. And then I might bring in Hard Times as my main book because I'll have probably read a good third of it as my bedtime book by then, you see. And so it will just be less daunting for me to read Dickens as my main read. Especially at a time when I'm trying to cut down my TBR. I'm currently on 35, and if once I finish this Agatha Christie, I'll be down to 34. And uh, in case you're wondering what I'm doing with my arm here, I have my foot, and I'm just... It itches at the bottom, it itches... Oh, oh yes! Oh, all the foot fetch people are going to be coming to me now. Don't know what that is, just ignore that. I think it might be, um, icing sugar. I spy a kitty cat. Don't I? Don't I spy a kitty cat? Yes. You do your little meow. Little meow. Oh yes. How are you? Oh no. No biting. Oh good, you got your little fangs out. It is Saturday evening. Saturday, the fourteenth of May. Um, yeah, been a bit hungover, a bit down today, to be honest. Um, but doing my best. I've been reading The Witch um, on page 90 of Time of Contempt by Andrei Sapkowski and I finished my Agatha Christie book as well. So reviews and stuff of those coming soon. I think tomorrow I'm off to um, meet somebody for a socially distanced picnic, which would be nice. And then in the evening I'll be doing my live stream. And I'm currently watching The Martian, even though I've read it and seen it before, but I've ran out of stuff to watch. Haven't I, Biggie? Ran out of stuff to, Daddy's ran out of stuff to watch. I know, it's terrible. Ah. Yeah, take that, Harry. Ha I'm zooming, didn't mean to zoom. Hello, it is Monday, the... I don't know. Monday the 18th of May. Yesterday I went for a picnic, so that was quite nice, then got quite drunk. Had a bit of a meltdown during my live stream. Um been a bit depressed to be honest but I'm still going I'm still reading the Witcher time of contempt I'm near the end um, I got up at like 6 30 a.m. today then I had a three-hour nap and it's now quarter past eight and I have like 60 70 pages to go so maybe I'll finish it tonight I don't know I'm gonna do some eBay wrapping and stuff as well spent most of the day just sitting on the sofa working feeling sad and watching Harry Potter so I think that's all I've got for you. Oh, I read Tuesday by Neil Gaiman, illustrated by Adam Rex. It's a children's book about a panda um, who sneezes. And when he sneezes, well, meet the pa little panda with a very big sneeze. When he sneezes, bad thing happens. Um, it was quite formulaic, to be honest, though. Like, I don't know. It just wasn't particularly interesting. And then, like... There wasn't really any tension or anything. There was a point when he almost sneezed and then didn't, and then he did sneeze and then it was the end. And I was like, oh. So there's no like growth or moral or anything to this. It's just this, like the story is basically there was a panda who had big sneezes and then he sneezed to the end. And I'm like, is that, I don't think that's enough for a story. Uh, the illustrations were quite cool though and there are a few Easter eggs in there. So there's that, but yeah. Um. So yeah, that brings me to the end of this week's vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.